Hey everybody, Christy Glass here with a Stashquisition video. This happens every single month on my channel. This is February and I actually have some really fun giveaways today and one that includes people who are not my patron, which is exciting. So if you are a patron, you are automatically entered for this month's giveaway, which is the Yarnorama level, which is $6 a month. I will get to those specific giveaways at the end. I randomly pick some of you to win the prize and ship them off to you. And so thank you so much for being my patron. Patreon.com is a website where you can support makers that are important to you and that you want to support. So I have over 600 of you who subscribe monthly to my channel and support it financially and it helps me to keep this train moving and I really, really appreciate your donations so very much. It has helped me to bring some content to you from Iceland and California recently and there will be a few more trips coming up this year that we will all benefit from uh, learning about fiber arts in other parts of the country and the world. If you've come to depend on my channel for your entertainment, I would really appreciate it if you would consider And there is a link underneath this video where you can find my Patreon account. I am wearing the Sherpa Coat by Two of Wands. Lots of people wonder what I'm wearing and I do have a playlist called Christie's Finished Objects in which I have the videos that are dedicated to everything I wear in one list. I try very hard to feature an item that I have crocheted or knitted as a finished item video before I wear it elsewhere. So there is a video of this Sherpa coat on that list and you can check out all the details on that there. I have had quite the stash acquisitions recently. Last month I went to Vogue Nanny Live and I included everything that I got at Vogue in the actual Vogue video. So you can check that out as well if you're interested to see what I picked up there. Some of it sometimes crosses over into other stash acquisition videos so it's okay if you missed it, you'll see a little bit of it here. Uh, I wanted to start out with a few things I did get at Vogue which are in different forms than maybe I'm used to showing. So instead of showing you the actual skeins of yarn, I'm going to show you this swatch that I knit up from the Spun Right Round yarn. This is for the Sorrel sweater, and I'm not sure as of this taping if I'm going to go through with this sweater, which is what I picked out, or if I'm going to do a different version. So I'm swatching a few different versions. And so this has a four color fade from Spun Right Round sock yarn. And you can see those colors on my Vogue Knitting Live stash acquisition, or my Vogue Nanny Live video, but this is them held together with the mohair called Buggy. So the whole sweater will look quite chartreuse-ish with this fade. I also did some experimenting with some sock yarn that was already in my stash from Sweet Skein of Mine and Chile Knits. And this is a slightly different version. Can you tell the difference? So this has Sweet Skein of Mine and Chile Knits as the first two colors and then two spun right round. I'll show it to you full out now so you can see it really is a subtle difference and almost the same. And I'm really proud of this swatch because I actually put in some yarn overs to remind me of what needle size I used. So you can see here there are one, two, three, four, five yarn overs here, and then here there are six yarn overs. So I will always know what needle size I used for my swatch, which is a problem for me. Stay tuned on the Sorrel sweater. Also, I was gifted this crown and I don't know about the pattern, but I'm told that someone messaged me that the woman who knitted, knitted is a really great jewelry designer, so I need to find out her information and include it in this video, but isn't it so amazing? She said, I think she lived in either Florida or California. I logged it as a warm climate, and I told her how much I loved it, and when she saw me later that day, she gifted it to me, and I just think it's so beautiful. So thank you for that. I'll just keep wearing it. Okay, I got a few t-shirts, which they're so cute. So this is Lola Bean Yarn Company. I actually have a really great stack of knitting t-shirts that I really love. I need to wear them more on the channel, but I just, then I put on a sweater and I forget. This is Twist Festival. And I love this sweatshirt. I love this t-shirt because of the gold. Um, the sparkle. A few recent yarn acquisitions that people have gifted me, which I think is really amazing. So this is by, I'm not going to say it right, Svena Bjork. She and I did an interview, one of our Iceland interviews that went out in January, and this is her New Year's skein that she, I believe, I think she referred to it in the interview, but definitely told me about it post-interview. And so I just received my New Year's skein 
This is merino and cashmere and nylon. Uh, I can't read what this word is. Aramota hespan. If you're Icelandic, maybe you got that. But it's just this beautiful, it's so soft. When it has cashmere in it, it's so soft. And she dies based on photographs of nature and things. So this is a really special gift from my new dyer friend in Iceland. I hope, I hope you had a chance to watch the Catskill Merino Farm interview with Dominique and all of the sheep. She gifted me a lot of yarn on that trip and there's actually a skein in the giveaway today. But then as a follow-up, she sent me yarn in my colors, which I so appreciate. They're so beautiful. This is called Desert Flower. And this is called hot pink, and they're both fingering weight. And they're so squishy and merino-like. I just love them so much, so thank you for that awesome gift. Shortly after the Fiber Flash Mob, Skein Cocaine sent me a few skeins to thank me, which is crazy, because I should be thanking her for learning the dance and coming to do the dance in New York City. But I had my eye on these skeins on her uh, Instagram page, and I think she made a note of that because she sent them to me. So these are both Cash Lux Erin, which means they have Superwash Merino Cashmere and Nylon. And this one is Crushed Candy Cane. Isn't that so good? And this is Home for the Holidays. I'm such a big fan of these colors, so I was really excited to get these in the mail. And I think maybe I'll, I need to make more hats with them because I love the Pull the Wool Over hat pattern and these will be so nice, especially during next year's holidays. I recently received a book in the mail. I don't know if you've heard of this book yet, but it is the Harry Potter Knitting Magic, and it's it seems like it's super official. It's by Tannis Gray, and you can see all of these wonderful knits on the front cover in a little case with a wand, and it's, oh look, there's a really cute mobile in here too if you have a baby that you're knitting for. If you're a fan of Harry Potter, you will see how Tannis tied in moments from the films mostly into these designs. So there are, like for example, this is the Harry Potter Wizard, Wizarding World sweater. Um, this is designed by Casa Pinka. So there's other designers in here, not just Tannis Gray. So this is the Casa Pinka sweater that has the different motifs like the trophy and glasses and a cat and a golden snitch and a hat and it looks like a cauldron is on there. Here is the Hogwarts House Scarves, which of course, it's a classic. And I think I'm really, I think I might be most excited for Mrs. Weasley's home knit Christmas sweater. Because we all, we all need a sweater with our initial on it, don't you think? This is by Marta Schmarta. That was designed by Marta Schmarta. The scarf, let me see who that was designed by. There's charts for all the alphabet letters, don't you worry. Oh, and the Hogwarts House Scarves is designed by Tannis Gray. So there's a variety of designers in here. It's a really nice book. Oh, look at this. Okay, I have to show you one more. Hedwig, stop. How cute is that? So it's a, it's a wide variety of, of knits. Just looking on the cover, it looks like there's a shawl or a blanket, socks, gloves, toys, and garments. So really special for you Harry Potter fans who love knitting. And I will be giving one of these away today to one of you. When I was in Iceland, I learned about a new company called Hip Mohair. I picked up a skein of some orange just for fun. And I have really been wanting to make a white sweater. And I've been working hard to find the exact right white. And it's very hard to find a very white yarn in natural fibers. So this is, I believe, as close as I'm going to get. It's the Hip Mohair and it's white. So I've been researching what pattern interests me and because this is quite lacy and I don't think I want to hold it together with something. So I'm working on finding the right pattern. I have two in mind, but I did see a few samples of the sweater I'm interested in at Vogue and they weren't using just this lace alone. It was quite thin for that pattern, so I might have to switch gears. But uh, this is a recent sash position. You'll see this in an upcoming video, but I did get a January knit crate from Brooklyn Boy Knits. This is the Energize Me version of the knit crate for January. And inside are the two skeins of yarn, and then of course the patterns that come with it. There is a knit and a crochet. And I believe the crochet is by Vincent of Vesuvius Crafts, who is also on my channel. 
So that was a recent stash acquisition that I will be passing along to one of you as well. Before I move on to the patron only giveaway for the Yarnorama level, I just wanted to let you know about a giveaway that I'm having with Stella Lighting. I've been using the Stella Light for a while and it's so bright and nice and I love that it's so simple in its design and they want to give away a Stella 2 task lamp to one of you and you just have to do two things in order to be eligible for this giveaway. One is to sign up for the newsletter and there is a link underneath this video so if you don't use the link under this video you won't be eligible for the giveaway so it will say Stella lighting giveaway and there will be a link click on that to sign up for their newsletter. Unfortunately, it's for US residents only. So if you are someone who is outside of the United States, maybe you have a friend here in the US, you can have it shipped to them. And the second thing you need to do is to follow them on Instagram. So they will look through their newsletter sign up and double check that you are following them on Instagram and then you will be entered for the giveaway. This is for the Stella 2 task lamp. I am quite behind on editing my videos, and so you don't know this yet, but Dolphina was on my channel back in October. Well, we shot it back in October, but it hasn't quite made it to air yet, but she gave me some beautiful things to give away. So I'm going to spread them out a bit, but this month I have this really nice project bag, which you can see it has Canadian hockey players on it. So cute. Let's see what's on the inside. Inside there are Canadian flags. You see them in there? Really, really fun from Delfina. Thank you for that. This is a skein that I picked up at the New York Sheep and Wool Festival. It's by Lana Planta. It's fingering 500 yards of marigold. Naturally dyed, very beautiful. I have two skeins of Lola Bean Yarn Company yarn. This is the special show color from Vogue and it's called The City So Nice. They named it twice. And I just was really drawn to it. I thought it was so colorful and beautiful, and it's two skeins. I thought I would pair it with this Heaven Wrap pattern from Stunning Buffalo, Stunning String Studio, because you need two skeins for this, so I think this is a nice little gift right here. I've already talked about the knit crate, so one, this knit crate will go to one of you. We're kind of in a yellow theme. I'm just feeling I need a little bright colors right now in February because it's so cold. So this knit crate is going to one of you as well, and this Harry Potter book. Right here. Actually, this one's mine, but they're gonna send you one too. That does it for this month's stash acquisition. Don't forget the Stella Lighting giveaway. The link is underneath this video. And if you're one of the winners on the Yarnorama level, you will find a message in your inbox shortly, and I will get these items off to you. Thank you so much, as always, for tuning in here to Christy Glass Knits, and I'll see you next time. Bye.